Hi, I'm DJ Gregor, and this is Mike Hewitt. We're here at the Open House Dev Jam 2012 in lovely Minneapolis, Minnesota, where it's a little warm out today, but uh, we're surviving better than some places. Yeah, yeah. Only lost part of a tree at my house. <laughs> so uh, this is, uh, we think D this is Dev Jam number seven. Sure, that sounds good. Sounds about right. That's what we're going with. Sick, uh, fifth time here? Fifth time here. Yeah. Yep, so what brought you back to Dev Jam? It's a great project, a uh, fun group of people to work with, uh, interesting, hard problems to solve, some easy, some hard, good mix. So what hard problems were you, were you working on? Uh, trying to figure out how to make a whole bunch of ice cream and still get some code done. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying in between all the code there's fun? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But equal parts? Yeah. I, I actually say more fun than normal this year, because I think I spent a little bit too much time making ice cream instead of code. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you had, you had like, a couple commits. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm up to like five now. Woohoo! Yeah, I got another two you're not today. Me, you're heading me, I'm at zero. Well, they're like two line commits, yeah. so. Those, I, we need those two. I'm returning to my old uh, pastime of being the code cleaning fairy. I've been making warnings go away in some projects. Yeah, it's important. I might have like a hundred lines coming. Yeah, but I saw you. I saw you lean over a couple of shoulders here and there from time to time. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Help, help other people out. Yeah. What kind of things did you see that you thought were pretty cool on the code side of things? The near real time grapher is pretty awesome. Both the uh, the functionality that's providing and the architecture uh, that will hopefully help us do a lot of cool things in the future. Be more distributed. Be more uh, well. Hopefully, it'll increase. The architecture will hopefully increase the. Uh, um, the performance too, so let us scale a lot more. I got to see it a little bit, and uh, it, it's the power of it is, is amazing. We're going to be able to do some real cool things that we've always wanted to do. You know, slide things in, slide pullers in, slide pullers out as we need to. Slide collectors in if we had to. Oh, that'll be good. Pull them out. No more restarts for config changes. Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> yeah, I almost, I almost Kids added these in. Days. I almost added in uh, automatic reloading for a config file while I was cleaning up a code, uh, a warning, and a, and a schema. <laughs> it was for event deconfiguration. It's a five-line config that no one touches, so I'm like, eh, um, I'm not gonna mess with it. Yeah, I suppose. I, got, I, I, I can do better things. I can at least do other code cleanup fairy stuff that I think will be more valuable than that. <laughs> so no, uh. One of the code cleaning fairy things that I did that's been a long time coming is I uh, took one of our JSPs. Oftentimes we have uh, little pieces of Java code in them. Mm -hmm. We had one for showing the, the service. And uh, uh, if you're an admin user, we have this code that decides if you're an admin user whether or not we should display certain parts of the page. And uh, we finally integrated Spring Security 3 a little while ago, which comes with some nice tags um, that you can do authorization questions with. So in the first JSP that I've touched in a while that has the type of code in it, I was able to remove the very last of the Java, yeah. Java in it. So I need to start showing that off to other people. Yeah, we do probably have a couple of places where that sits. A lot of it. And the nice thing is, since we had Spring Security 3 in there now, it'll work anywhere in the code. Cool. So, yeah. What else? Starting to hack on some Hibernate stuff. Trying to get everything hibernated. At least, at least every <coughs> table hibernated, and then move everything over to use the hibernate code. Yeah, maybe we'll finish by 2020. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, no. Did some work in the graph subsystem, helping out Marcus, and realized, yeah, that could use a little bit of work. <laughs> Things that I wanted to do, you know, five years ago, mm. maybe I should finish implementing them. In Atlanta? <laughs> oh, no, this is even before that. Yeah, probably. But those would be cool features to do, too. Yeah. yeah. I remember writing it up on the... I got it on the wiki. <laughs> so we just need to take One of these back. days. Plenty, plenty to do.